Hello everyone, this is Dr. Dhiman and I welcome you all to this tutorial series in class 11 physics. I am following the book NCERT physics part 1. Okay, so in this video we will solve the problem number 2.10 from the chapter number 2 that is the units and measurement chapter. So in this problem we have to find out the number of significant figures in this following numbers. Okay, following measurements. Okay, so these are the measurements we are given with and we have to find out the number of significant figures significant figures means figure means digit here you have to find out the number of significant digits so for understanding what is the significant digits i have already made tutorial videos on this so you have to go to my channel and from that you will find the playlist of the tutorial series so from there you can see the significant figures videos okay so let us find out one by one so in this first part of this problem we are given with this magnitude so unit part you have to discard for all the cases given here you have to ignore or you have to neglect the units part you have to see only the magnitude of the measurements so in this magnitude we can say say that this value is less than one okay because it is zero point something okay so when a value is less than one all the zeros on the left hand side of the first non-zero digits they are not significant so these three zeros are not significant here we have only one significant figures so here we can write significant figures is equal to one now let us go to our second part of this problem in the second part if we have a 10 to the power something so this part is not significant okay and here we can see we have three non-zero digits so in case of any measurement whenever we have any non-zero digits they are significant okay so here we will have this value is greater than one and this value has three non-zero digits so here we will have significant figures is equal to three let us go to our third part in this third part we can see that this zero is on the left hand side this total value is less than one okay and we have to see these three are non-zero digits they are significant figures this zero is on the right hand side this zero is important because it gives the precision of the measurement so this zero is also significant that is these are all significant this zero is not significant so here in this case we will have significant figure is equal to four now let us go to our this fifth uh, fourth part so these three are non-zero digits and this zero is giving the precision of the measurements i think you are aware of this precision and accuracy precision is the minimum measurement a device can measure okay that is the precision of the measuring device in this case we have all these four numbers or the all these four digits are significant so here we can write significant figure is equal to four okay now let us go to our fifth part of this problem in this fifth part this six three and two these are non-zero digits and this zero are in between non-zero digits so we can say that this zero is also significant so here we can write significant figure is equal to four okay so now let us go to this sixth part of this problem here we have four zeros and this whole value is less than one when we have a given measurement is less than one all the zeros are on the left hand side of the first non-zero digit then these zeros are not significant these are not significant and the six three two these are significant and this zero this zero is in between two non-significant digits okay so this zero is also significant so here we have total significant figure of is equal to 4 so this is the solution of the problem number 2.10 from the chapter number 2 thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you